What is up everyone? I got three things for you. One, did you sign up for our Warm Ballers Fantasy League for the Premier League yet? If yes, good luck. And if not, then seriously, what's the hold up? I'm flying to the winner's house no matter where you live in the world and having a pickup game with you and your friends, which is like the best grand prize of all time. And two, warmballers.com. You should have this website saved because we got big things coming. And three, it's time for the very curious news from around the globe with the amazing country. Curious news item number one. Barcelona has money to burn. And with an influx of 222 million euros now in their bank account after their bitter sale of Neymar to PSG, they are now in a position to ruin the lives of many supporters of other clubs around the world because they are in the hunt to replace the talent that they lost. And target number one is Liverpool's Philippe Coutinho, who has emerged as one of the most talented midfielders in the world and who at 25 years of age is just about to enter the prime of his career. But according to recent reports, Liverpool turned down a much improved bid from Barcelona in the range of 100 million euros and Coutinho apparently said he would not ask to leave. So it seems like nothing is going to happen, but come on! If you're Coutinho or anyone else for that matter, it's Barcelona and they win things regularly. So if you were in Coutinho's position and you start visualizing playing with Messi and Iniesta instead of Adam Lallana and Jordan Henderson, how can you go back to Lallana and Henderson? You can't. It's impossible. So I think at some point, Coutinho's gonna push to leave. Or perhaps he could go the Luis Suarez route and bite someone to make the move happen. And yes, I know Liverpool is holding firm because they have ambitions to do something big this season and in the future. And Coutinho would obviously play a huge part of any success that they achieve. But even with Coutinho, do they really have the squad to realize those ambitions and win significant trophies? Ow! Oh, I don't know, maybe if everyone stayed healthy, but that's a big maybe, and Coutinho has to know that too. The problem is, if Liverpool do finally agree to sell, and I think that they will, who can they go buy to replace them? I mean, who is out there that is similar in talent that's available? Do they offer more for Navy Kaita from RB Leipzig? who isn't as good as Coutinho. Or maybe they go and fill a need with center back Virgil van Dijk, even though they've been turned down previously, I think six or seven times, and just say, hey, listen, we got the cheddar, man. Or maybe they sting Barcelona with their own money by going after their second target, Osman Dembele. I mean, how many Dembele Liverpool shirts would they sell if that happened? A shit ton, that's what I think. And they would have a bona fide superstar on their hands. But does Liverpool still have that magic anymore as a club that players dream to play for? Sadly, I don't think they do, but Barcelona does, and I don't think I have to remind Liverpool supporters about how good Liverpool would be if they still had Barcelona's Luis Suarez and Javier Mascherano in their team, who both left Liverpool at age 25, and Coutinho is age 25, so I'll let you figure out what's gonna happen next. Very curious news item number two. Carlos Vela signed with LAFC. That's right, the newest club in MLS, which begins play next season, has signed one of Mexico's most talented players, and the Mexican people are pissed because they believe it's a step down from playing for Real Sociedad in La Liga, where he has scored 53 goals in 171 games, and now Chicharito is pissed that the Mexican people are pissed by saying, I'm tired of looking at the negative side of things whenever questions are made in Mexico. Whether we win, lose, or draw, whether some guys play abroad, whether they're pursuing their happiness, whether some players grow, the focus is always on the negative side of everything. Yo, Chicharito getting after it. And he continued, we have to look at the positive side of things. The fact that Jonathan Dos Santos has joined his brother with the Galaxy, that's a dream they both had. They'll be living a better life. Why is that wrong? Why is it that Mexicans have to be used to suffering? Because Chicharito is in England, in London, playing in a country with a different language, so he's worth it and the rest are not? Yo, I, I didn't even know Chicharito had this in him. So go on, little P, keep preaching, because I love it when you get outraged. Very curious news item number three. Is Tottenham's Danny Rose a genius or an idiot? The England international and Spurs left back gave a candid interview to The Sun but was it off the cuff when the son caught him in a moment of frustration? Or was it planned and he and his agent knew exactly what they were doing? Because listen to what came out of Rose's mouth. First he said that his wages are too low, which is what every player feels, so that's really nothing new. Then he said that he felt like he wasn't exactly valued for what he should be compared to players at other clubs. And again, this is a typical 
player complaint. Move along, nothing new here. Then he said that he had one more contract left in him and how he was gonna get what he was worth, even if that means moving up north, which, okay. Not only is he referencing the Manchester clubs who have a lot of cheddar, but this is a clear signal of intent that this might be more serious than a player griping about getting some more money. Because then he said he was desperate to win a trophy and didn't want to have a 15 year career with nothing to show for, which, holy shit, that is an incredible dig at Spurs. And then he said that he wanted Spurs to sign players who he didn't have to Google to know who they were, which holy fuck, he did it. He fucking did it. He made this personal by taking a big swipe at how the manager Mauricio Pochettino and chairman Daniel Levy do their business. So if you're Pochettino, what do you do here? Because this is a player that you're so fond of that the other players have nicknamed him the gaffer's son. Also, sidebar, how does Hyungman's son feel knowing someone else on the team is being called the gaffer's son because his last name is son? I mean, that's a serious question. I'm really just want to know what you guys think. Also, how does this affect the Spurs players? Will they be mad at Rose? Or will they be like, well, yeah, I mean, our best player, Harry Kane, who happens to be the hottest striker in the league over the last two years, doesn't make as much as Ashley Young. So we need to get And if Spurs plan to keep spending low over the next few years to help, among other things, finance this new stadium, they can have a squad of very talented but unhappy and underpaid players that are frustrated that the club doesn't want to make any big signings to help them win trophies, which, when you think about it, sounds pretty familiar to their North London neighbors when they move to the Emirates Stadium. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm done talking, but you've been great. So keep being you, I'll keep being me, and together we can be warm ballers for life. Also, remember to sign up for our Warm Ballers Fantasy League and follow Warm Ballers on Twitter or Facebook to learn more about this competition or anything else in general, anything Warm Ballers related, at Warm Ballers. Or hit us up at Instagram at Warm Ballers FC, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Later.